Never said I'm perfect, so be easy. Said it would be worth it, not be easy. Shorty go too hard, told her take it easy. Hey you guys, thank you so much for returning for another video, but if you are new here, hi, my name is Kendra, I am a zero based cash budgeter, I budget on a monthly and a weekly basis, I budget every single week because I get paid every single week. I also love to do savings challenges, DIYs, and unboxings, so if that sounds like something that you may be interested in, please consider becoming a subscriber, I would love to have you here, hit that bell notification button to be notified every time I post a video, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and leave a comment below i would love to communicate with you and without further ado let's get into the video all right you guys so i was supposed to be going to the bank and taking out my denominations i had my little um teller slip and everything but then i decided to condense some of my um sinking funds binders and then i decided Hey, I could just get the denominations from that. So that's what I did to save me a trip to one of the banks. But I still have to go to the bank to deposit the um, the money that I condensed and I replaced with a placeholder. So that I can put that into my high yield savings. So now we have $265, which is what I got paid this week. And I'm going to go ahead and stuff it before I go outside. So let's go ahead and count it. Make sure it's 265. So I have 100, 50, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 240, 250, 255, 256, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5. So $265 is what I'll be stuffing today, which is a low paycheck which is disappointing but i think back to september when i didn't get paid at all like for one or two weeks i think it was and i think the first week i got like a hundred dollar check and then the second week i didn't get anything so i'm just happy to have something to stuff all right so let me pull up my book or no it's not even in the book it's right here my denominations sheet so I can stuff the right things and I'm going to pull out my um, my bills binder and my wallet so those are the only two things I'm stuffing my bills and my um, everyday spend wallet so this should be quick all right so mortgage is getting 100 so that is a $100 bill. Utilities is getting 52. So that's a 50 and two ones. Phone is getting 20. So that is a $20 bill. Car insurance is getting 23. So that is a 20 and three ones. Internet isn't getting anything. Investment isn't getting anything. Savings isn't getting anything. Gym is already stuffed. And subscriptions isn't getting anything. So I just stuffed what I felt was important, which was something towards the mortgage and utilities and then um since phone was only 20 and insurance 23 i went ahead and stuffed that as well and then i'll leave the rest for my last two paychecks which should be more than what um i got this week because i have some type of overtime at least the last two paychecks all right so let's go ahead and get into my wallet I'm gonna leave dining out in there. All right, so take out what I've done is just whatever I spent last week is what I'm replacing. So I started take out with $55 and I'm just gonna put it back up to 55. So it has 23 and it's getting 32. So a 20, a 10, 
and two ones, and this should make it 55. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, and groceries, I started last week off with 60. I have now $50, and I'm just putting $10 in to get it back up to 60. For gas, I didn't stuff anything last week, and I'm still around a half a tank, so I budgeted $20, which I'll probably put in today, and it should get me close to um, a full tank, so 20 should be enough. Shopping, I started shopping with 25 this week, or last week, and it has 10 15 16 $17 left so shopping is getting eight dollars which should bring it back to 25 10 15 20 21 2 3 4 5 25 for shopping for miscellaneous i put five dollars in and it still has five dollars so i'm not stuffing it this week that is it for my wallet. As you can see, my cash tray is empty. So that is all I have for this week. And that is it for this video. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. And please consider becoming a subscriber. I would love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.